in your Roblox chat, you would automatically get banned. <laughs> if you like my videos, make sure to go ahead and click subscribe. Once you do, hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. Also, comment I subscribe down below and you will automatically be entered into my monthly shoutout giveaway. Now, let's get on with this video. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys 10 untold secrets about Roblox. So, stay tuned. Number 10. For my first untold secret about Roblox, we're starting off with a bit of a more wholesome secret. That being, before Roblox was as widely popular as it is today, the company actually took precautions to make sure that any player who would get on their site would have another person to play with. So, one summer, they hired a teenager just to sit and play Roblox with anyone who would happen to stumble upon the game. I'm unsure how long they kept this up for, but I imagine until Roblox itself started getting a decent player base. It sounds like an amazing job where we just get paid for playing a game all day. Granted, Roblox wasn't like it is now. There was a lot less to do back then. It's hard to imagine hopping on Roblox and not having anyone else to play with, since there are usually millions of players on, but back then, that's what they had to do. They never wanted anyone to leave the game for the only reason of having no one else to play with. Number 9. I'm sure you all know of the co-founder of Roblox by now, David Bazuki, but how much do you actually know about him? Turns out he's a pretty interesting dude. Not only was he the Roblox co-founder, but he's also an incredibly successful entrepreneur, engineer, and inventor. Something else that was pretty interesting I found out was he was a radio talk show host for KSCO Radio in Santa Cruz, just a couple of years before Roblox was released. With several awards and lots of recognition, it's definitely clear that he is a very intelligent man, much deserving of all of his successes this far. Number 8. This one isn't exactly a secret by any means, but for a lot of Roblox players especially, I feel as if it goes unknown. And that is how much Roblox is actually worth. I'm sure you all know your favorite Roblox game creators and devs make their games as their full-time jobs and careers, but have you ever wondered how much it is exactly that they make? Well, just taking a look at the developer exchange rate can give you a decent idea. Through their games, Roblox developers earn Robux, and as great as that is in and of its own, Robux doesn't exactly pay the bills, so there's a method for them to convert it into real-life money. The least amount you can exchange is 100,000 Robux, which will get you a mere 350 in US dollars. But wait for it, it goes all the way up to exchanging 600 million Robux for 2.1 million dollars. I'm sure that exchange is used quite a bit less than the other lesser ones, but there has to be a reason that it's an option. That being that some of Roblox's more popular games make millions of millions of dollars each and every year, just for the developers. This leaves Roblox itself worth just under a billion dollars as a whole, according to Google. Number 7. We all know that there's always been a slight rivalry between Roblox and Minecraft, which, to be honest, I never completely understood because the games are so different, but it's definitely there. And it's apparent by this secret. Back in 2012, if you were to put the word Minecraft in your Roblox chat, you would automatically get banned. Back then is really when Minecraft first took off, and it was the closest direct competitor to Roblox, so Roblox being the smart business people they are, they banned the word from the chat so players wouldn't be inclined to talk about it and suggest others to play it instead of Roblox. Probably a safe move on their part, although I do still see the games as vastly different. Number 6. I'm sure you all have heard the classic Roblox Ooh. Even people outside of Roblox have, as it's become a bit of a meme these days. I've always seen and heard it referred to as oof, as that's what it sounds like, however, according to Roblox, that's actually not what the sound is named. If you take a look at the oof audio file, it is labeled as uh, spelled U-U-H-H-H. -h -h. 
I find this funny as it doesn't sound like that at all. I wonder if Roblox is at all annoyed about how people refer to it now. <laughs> Number five, before Roblox's currency, Robux, and even ticks existed, there was an original quote unquote currency called Roblox points that you got as a daily login reward as well for playing games and other methods. It wasn't exactly a currency like Robux is today, as you couldn't buy items or anything cool with it. The points acted more as a leaderboard, so the more you had, the further up you'd be. It was a beta feature, and it only lasted for about a week since it was overhyped and no one really loved it. That's why not many even know about its existence. Number four, and now we have another wholesome secret about the first person to ever have over 1 million Robux in their account. It was a young boy who went by the name of Sethy Cakes. And no, he didn't buy all of it. Roblox themselves actually gifted it to him. Seth suffered from a disorder called pseudo-obstruction, which deals with nerve and muscle problems. Through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Seth was actually able to visit the one and only Roblox headquarters, where he got to learn all about his favorite game, where he received his Robux and had the honor of creating the Dominus Frigidus. Pretty awesome on Roblox's part, if you ask me. Number three, we all know and love the catchy, easy to remember name Roblox, but no surprise here that that wasn't always what our beloved blocky game was called. There were three names being considered when Roblox was in early development, those being Dynablox, Goblox, and of course Roblox. A lot of people believe Roblox was actually referred to as Dynablox during its early development, but contrary to that popular belief, this is false as it was only considered. Roblox was chosen as the official name late 2004, and the others were deemed too hard to remember. Imagine your favorite computer game being referred to as Dynablox. Seems a little strange to think about. Number two. Contrary to its competitor Minecraft, Roblox doesn't really hold real-life conventions, or at least they don't any longer. They have held a few in the past with the option to go to one you could attend or you could watch the livestream version of the panels, this being called BloxCon. They no longer hold these types of events, however. Roblox does have a yearly convention called RDC. However, it is invite-only and mainly just for Roblox developers. That way, Roblox can teach them all the new and upcoming updates to the game, also allowing the devs in Roblox to brainstorm together to continue making the game that much bigger and better. Number one and last but not least, a lot of people believe that the first account ever made on Roblox was the account Roblox, especially since it has the number one listed in the URL. However, this isn't the case. There's actually an account that goes by the name of Toolbox that is listed as the 8th account ever made, and it has the same join date as the account Roblox. However, there's an item that was actually created by Toolbox that dates back to 2005. Seems a little suspicious if you ask me. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like, subscribing, and then comment down below once you do in order to be entered into my monthly shout-out giveaway. That's it for me. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.